Okay, so we've um, got ourselves a program, we've got ourselves a module inside that program, we've built some functions, and we've made a dependency. Let's go ahead and make a reusable library. Uh, so in your hello folder, type cargo init minus lib greeter. And what this is telling cargo is that it wants to create a new project called greeter, and that project shall be a library. Um, if you have a look inside what it create what it created, you'll see that it's almost the same. There's a cargo.toml file. There's a source folder. And in that source folder, instead of main.rs, you have lib.rs. And that is literally the only difference from the compiler's point of view between a library and a program. You can turn a program into a library by renaming main.rs to lib.rs and vice versa. And libraries don't have to have a main function because you're generally not running the library. So if you copy the greater.rs file that you made earlier into greater source lib.rs and um, copy the dependency that you had in uh, your cargo.toml file to the new greater cargo.toml, you now have a library. And the code for this is in example five. Now, actually using it requires that we open up um, the cargo.toml file in the original. And in our dependencies, we can put greater equals, and then in curly brackets, path and where you put the library. This is extremely flexible. You can use git equals and a path to a git repository. You can use path equals, path to wherever it is on your file system, which can be relative or absolute. Um, there's a whole lot of other options, including a compilate from other source control, um, or you can have published it to um, to the world and just pull it in the same way you did anyhow. And then open up main. You can get rid of mod greeter because we're not loading the greeter.rs file anymore. And because you included greeter in cargo.toml at the bottom, you can just use greeter colon colon greet user and import it directly from the library. Now, if you were to run this, you'll see that it now compiles the library and the program separately, it takes slightly longer, and it runs exactly as it did before. The difference now is that if you wanted to write a second program that needs to use greet user for some reason, that functionality is completely reusable. And if you update it, anybody who recompiles will now see your updates. So that gives you very easy shared library and code. If you type cargo tree, you'll see that uh, anyhow the dependency is actually underneath greeter. So anybody who install, anybody who uses the greeter library, the anyhow dependency is installed for them. Uh, you don't need to worry about finding it and installing it yourself, but it won't be accessible to the people using your program unless you decided to re-export it. And we'll worry about that in a later module. And the other thing you may have noticed if you were looking at your file system tree when you compiled that is that greeter is now sitting in um, greeter slash target slash debug greeter.lib and your program is sitting in hello slash target slash debug slash hello and the anyhow source code is in both locations and the uh, result is that you've used a whole bunch of disk space. You can get around that by uh, opening cargo.toml at the top of the tree, adding a workspace directive, which you should be able to see on the screen. And then in the members array, you add each of the sub projects that you also want to include at the same time. You can now do cargo build minus minus all if you want to, or you can run any, any of the programs inside this, um, inside your workspace, and it all compiles to the same target folder meaning you just saved a whole bunch of disk space. Uh, to give you an example, when I was working on hands-on Rust, I started not using namespaces because I wanted each chapter example to be separate. And I realized I was wasting nearly 250 gigabytes of disk space because of the sheer number of libraries I was using. Combining everything into a workspace reduced my build down to just under a gig for all of the projects because copying a separate binary copy of every single project for every little part of your workspace just is a tremendous waste of space. It's also a whole lot faster 
because within a workspace, uh, builds are shared. So if you have three items that need to all use the greeter library, well, the greeter library only compiles the once and everything can use the resulting build from that. Uh, it also tracks incrementals. So tracking incrementals across the whole workspace means that only the parts that changed will be rebuilt at all. So it makes your life a lot faster and reclaiming that much disk space will make whoever buys your computer happier.